Online betting for every eSports fan. Dota 2 and Hearthstone, CSGO and Overwatch, StarCraft 2, the choice is yours. Express bets for multiple matches or live bets on the game you are watching right now. Know your way around Dota 2? Make a prediction for picks and bans. Playing CSGO? Guess the number of rounds in a certain match. Daily quests for all participants and all the best choice of payment systems. More than 600,000 users have already made their bets on the spectacular matches since 2011. EGB.com. You know for sure who's going to win.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dota Pit Season 5. I am not sure I can make it through, through this game anymore. My tongue just twisted itself. It's so good, that game number one. Oh man, now draining half my energy, re uh, well, half my energy, or half my mana. I'm here to solo cast the next game, game number two. Newbie versus IG. Well, I think IG should have been pretty broken at this point. Uh, newbie just led them on a merry chase uh, for 15 minutes and then just slammed the game in their face and IG despite being in the lead for the entire game just lost in the last five minutes all right now newbie they're gonna have a change of tune here as they lose their coddle <laughs> IG finally realized that the old man deserves the ban hammer and uh, Sand King is going to be the first pick for newbie they have Rubik again IG really favoring this hero hopefully not wisp again but still Rubik as the pickup, and Sand King as the first one for newbie. What will Invictus go with their second pick here? Do they snap up that Juggernaut? No, they go Ursa for burning. All right, they want to do that strategy again. They think it worked out pretty fine, but this time they want to have a different approach. They need to take that game early. Oh no, OD. OD is a great hero against Ursa. Oh no. Maybe pick up Silencer, that will work. Silencer is good for counter initiation. Have the Ursa jump in, then the Silencer drop a blanket on the cross, everything, and then you shut things down with the. And uh, yeah, that was me spazzing. But now the bands come out, the second phase of bands. What do we look towards? Newbie, probably gonna look maybe towards a Nyx Assassin? Invictus Gaming might actually pick that one up for themselves. I actually would like to see X here for Invictus, although OD does counter that hero pretty well. I have to say that XXXS, until the later part of the game where his hero starts to taper off, it has still been an excellent game for him. He played a great Sand King, not dying at all, just really punishing the Elfling, shutting down the Morphling's farm. And uh, yeah, we have to see if uh, it's going to be the case here. Kunkka is now banned out, a very good ban here from Invictus Gaming. Kunkka boat just messes up the burst damage that Burning looks to achieve with that Ursa pick. And I really enjoyed that ban here. And uh, Nyx Assassin gonna be, gonna be taken out. Newbie not wanting to take chances with the Cockroach. And uh, yeah, can't blame them for that. OD does suffer pretty heavily against that. Do we see maybe a Razor again come up for us, uh, Invictus? OP playing that Razor the last time has been really effective against the OD. Being able to shut down uh, that mid lane of the OD very efficiently and just preventing any kind of uh, lane dominance coming up from this guy, allowing him to get those early items, early levels, and maybe even killing him with one one support help. But uh, right now, Invictus Gaming, they are <coughs> they are doing you know thinking about that fourth pick. What do they not want against the Ursa Warrior? You know, usually kiting kiting tools, but unfortunately for them, OD is already in the draft there. But I do feel like uh, something like a. Shadow Demon Luna pick might be coming out here. Shadow Demon and Sand King, a very popular pick. Uh, yeah, they bat out the Ogre Magi, which I cannot blame them for. Well, given that the well, the Ogre has been a pivotal part in all of Newbie's drafts. They ban it out, and there you go. The Razor comes out immediately to respond to this OD pick. And you can't actually be too surprised about that at this point. Uh, the X can be banned out here. Invictus Gaming very popular for their X on XXX, XXS extra extra small. <laughs> I'm gonna call on that. But uh, yeah, the X can be removed, so that strong off lane option for the purple player is not gonna be available here. What will newbie pick up in response here to this razor? <clears throat> Maybe some gankers. I think gankers are really good against razor. Razor is good in a one v one, and uh, well, it's. It's going to be it's going to be tough. I mean, how do newbie? How do I mean? How do IG break past that mentality of newbie just crushing them in a fifteen-minute game where they were ahead for most of it? How? Mirana. It looks like newbie will go with Mirana, the cat lady. Very very good in the right hands, and uh, I think it's definitely going to be one of those heroes that will really trip up Invictus Gaming if uh, if you know hat if some of the arrows do land on point but again is it a Mirana support roaming or is it going to be a carry Mirana or even a mid lane Mirana here give it to the 9k guy well we'll see all right 
Ooh, all right, IG going for the cheese. Well, whipping out the mozzarella here, we are going to go for the push rat from Puckner. The ward is good against OD as well. I can't say I disagree. Stopping blink daggers when you cast Epicenter, I like it. I like the Puckner pick. It's uh, It's been a pick that has been experimented a little bit among teams there in Europe as well as Southeast Asia. I think Mushi did play the Puckner as well in the qualifiers for the Boston Major. So I'd like to see how this Puckner does run. And uh, right now, we'll see if it is going to be a pick that Newbie can respond to. What do you pick up against a Puckner, really? What do you do? Hmm. Invoker is definitely in the uh, in the books here, but... I don't know, there might be a little bit too many calls here. Do you want to shift the OD away? I think you want to shift the OD away from the Razor if you can. Do they do that, though? Does OD function as well in the safe lane? I still think the OD has a better chance because you have that banish setup with the arrow that can be looked to punish the Razor pick. <clears throat> The problem is, even if you do land the arrow, usually you get the banish on when the razor does go for the sap. So if you lose too much of your base damage, even if you land the arrow, you're not going to be able to kill the <laughs> razor with right click. So I'm excited to see how this works out. The I don't know. It's it's tough. Juggernaut still not picked here by either team. But are there any slots left for the jugger? Is the question. It's gonna be a dazzle, okay. Gonna keep things alive here, mess with the Ursa a little bit more, have that weave to buff things up, and uh, yeah. Not too, not too out of the ordinary. Now, do they run that Marana as a core is the question I really want. I really like this thing about newbie draws is that they keep you guessing. Do you have that core Marana? Do you have that support Marana? Do we ban a core or support for the last one? IG, gonna be scratching the heads on this one. And uh, yeah, we'll see what the offlane will be. Pugna could be the offlane for Invictus Gaming if this if this trial lane turns out to be less threatening than he thought. He could go there. 212 seems very popular now. Oh Terran Blade being banned out, alright. So fearing a little push strat coming out. Push strat coming out here from Newbie. They ban out the TB and uh, Newbie have that last ban for themselves. Probably gonna pick out an offlaner here that they do not want to face. A Tyne Hunter comes to mind. Has a good AoE ultimate that threatens that high no, threatens a team fight. Trying to dissuade you from fighting and then have that. Okay, they're gonna go with Slaughter instead. So, Invictus Gaming, they're not going to have that Slaughter option. But I don't think Slaughter was really what they were looking for. Maybe a Roshan attempt here, but I don't think Slaughter was really what they were looking for. Maybe a Tide Hunter, uh, someone that can take a team fight over to the enemy. And uh, we'll have to see here what they decide to pick. A newbie will be picking first, so IG will get the last say in this. Do they pick something like a Medusa again? You know, something that they did in the past, you know, just shuts down any kind of early aggression. Uh, could really be game ending here if uh, IG are not equipped for it. Alright. We'll see. Marana. What does the... Oh right, they go for the Weaver here, so it will be the Marana roaming, and uh, will not be the mid Marana here. As a you know, it's a it's kind of a reflection from from what IG are used to playing. Mesa. IG they run that Marana core on OP here, and uh, very often. And so we'll see if IG are gonna be dealing with this Weaver here. Weaver is good against Ursa, but is he good against another stun? I think Invictus will have to pick up a stun here if they want to look to lock down this Weaver. They are a little bit light on the stuns now. So either a disable or a silence would be great here. Honestly, myself, I would like to see a silencer, but it might not fit in the overall strategy of this. They might go all in here, maybe even pick up a roster for that extra push. So do we see that coming out here? The extra push, the extra disable roster, maybe? Come on. Legion oh, yeah, 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 we forgot about Legion. <laughs> yeah, we forgot about Legion. All right, we forgot about the crazy lady. All right, fight me. <laughs> Uh, Alright, we're gonna be whipping out the Legion Commander here, and I love this pick! It's one of my favorite strength heroes, you know, it's just a personal 4k thing of mine. Overwhelming odds, duel, it's just the whole hero, just very exciting to play, you know, the drums when the duel happens. 
It's fun, it's fun, guys. It gets me drunk, and uh, we are going to go into the game here with a Legion Commander. There is a Grave, though, which makes me think that this Legion pick might be a little bit odd. Because Dazzle just really puts a kink in your plans, but it's an offlane Legion Commander. You're just going to be there for the lockdown, maybe. I don't know. There's OD, there's Dazzle. It's going to be a hard game for Legion. We'll see. It does have the debuff, though. So you can remove arrows. Very, very good. You can remove barrel strikes as well, so... It's a nice it's a nice hero to have in your team. Will it be effective enough is the question. All right, we're going to hop into the game very quickly. Can IG come back from that crippling loss in game number two, uh, game number one, and bring back a third game? Or will Newbie just clean them up with a 2-0 sweep? Partner, played by Bobo Ka. Ursa Warrior, played by Burning. Legion Commander by XXS. And uh, OP by the Razor. And last, not, last but not... Oh, Razor by OP. Last but not least, we have Q on Rubik. On the side of the dire, they all smoked up as well. Newbie, Nike, SSS, CCC, C, TCC, C, three Cs. Sick. On that OD, we have Faith. On that Dazzle, we have U9 playing the Carry Weaver. Kaka going to be the support, support Marana, and KP going to start with that uh, Sand King. And they go in with the Sukuchi. They're looking for a pick, but not going to be able to find it as it is a little bit too deep in enemy territory, and they don't want to be giving away free kills like that. But it does look like they are going to, to they are going to look to pressure this lane here. Alright, Ursa. You got it's playing a lot of Ursa in its time now. Going away from the AM. Alright, but Wuka starting very thin there on the items. Are they going to try and contest this rune? It's going to be hard. I don't think they will. And they lose both runes and GG well played. Newbie's got this. 200 bucks into the bank right away. This is a lost game, friends. Lost game. <clears throat> On the bright side, though, they do get a D ward. I think a dire D ward was down, so... No, no, they don't. I don't know how they got their 100 gold. Observer. Yeah, they have, they have an Observer on Kaka, so it's going to be... A Try lane here. All right, newbie are gonna put a try lane on this uh, on this Legion commander. They have already prepared for this, so Legion is going to start uh, the game with moment of courage. Might be regretting that as he is not holding on to the skill points, but now gonna go on the chop here with this Weaver with Kaka and Dazzle as well. It's gonna be a rough lane, but Ursa is gonna be facing up against KP. So a reversal of lanes going on here. Sanova gonna be killing the small chicken of all things. So killing his kid there. Mac Chickas is gonna be mad about that one, Mister Chicken. Gonna be pretty mad about that, but Kaka got a port to the top lane to try and deal with this Ursa. Already starting plinking away with that arrow. Trying to deal with this Ursa warrior. Will they be successful though? Meanwhile, in the middle lane, OD is gonna fare pretty okay so far. 9k doing alright against OP and the Razor. But Razor's o OP Razor is something to be afraid uh, to be scared of. I mean, the last time we saw that, it just really mopped the floor of the opposition. So but then again, Vichy Gaming aren't newbie, you know, they are not on the same level there. Or was it was it Ehome? Or was it e was Ehome? Yeah, Ehome are just not the same level as newbie. They're not so easy to beat. Kaka. It'll be really scary here, Q. Just drag KP there. Oh, they gotta start off maybe with a lift there. Maybe can do some damage there. KP doesn't have barrel strike. It's level one. He doesn't have barrel strike. Maybe they could have oh they could have gone for a Q. Not taking the chance there, not taking the leap. And uh, will not be able to punish KP's very greedy early game decision of not picking Barrel Strike. Oh man. Could have done so much damage to him and now he hits level 2. So. That was so unfortunate. But uh, meanwhile, the Razor doing Razor things, draining all the damage, minus 45. And uh, even with an arrow, you are not killing him. And now Kaka walking into the wrong neighborhood. They are going to try and kill him a little bit, but it's not going to be able to do enough, not gonna do enough damage there. Eats a brunch. And uh, should be topping up right nicely. Meanwhile, XXS is still training hits with the Weaver. Not too well, as he does have to force out the salve now. The pipe of insight used there by the Dazzle. It's a pretty nice staff, actually. Pipe of the Zoom. But it doesn't give any extra stats. Just a nice little pipe there for the Dazzle. OP, gonna see us lul in the tower. But newbie. I'm gonna enjoy this faith. Meanwhile, gonna trade hits there. The Legion Commander now trading with this Nix, uh, with this Weaver. 
But Weaver has to be careful about dealing with this this Legion. He has that double point in Moment of Courage, so we'll have that extra healing prop that will keep his sustain in the lane. Well, I'd like to see her go for more points in the press the attack. Now the overwhelming odds are, are great. But I think you need press the attack to keep the sustain going. But no, it looks like he's gonna be skipping that altogether. So his duels, I don't think he's looking to win his duels, you know. This skill build does look like his tech two is not really focusing on duels, but more on the more on the damaging. Maybe get the sustain in the lineup. Just doing some damage here in the creep wave and we're, Oh boy, that heal bomb! Oh XSS! Has to be really careful here. The decrepify is gonna keep him alive there. The Sakuji is ready, but he has them ma magic stick charges to pop that. Yeah, you will keep it alive, but no faith. Gets the first blood with the touch, and uh, yeah, Legion Commander getting touched there by the Shadow Priest. Oh, actually loses life and U9. Gonna enjoy that one. That heal bomb catching XXS off guard there, and uh, well, even with the stick charges, not gonna survive there. First blood newbie. Yes, Lou. Alright. Rubik. Look for that push there, KP. Now I'm gonna trade hits maybe with this Rubik. It's a possibility. He could just go for the bar strike there. Could risk his life, but the Ursa is really far back on the lane. So burning is not really in the way. Oh, there, this is a perfect arrow setup. Here we go. Fires the arrow. It's gonna be perfect. Now to go right on the dome. And it's 5 seconds as well, but uh, they're not pushing the issue here. Kaka just gonna force out a TP. OP, like I said, a little bit hard to take out. As uh, Razors are pretty resilient and OD doesn't have the damage to do it. And uh, OP, now gonna munch on a ward there. That's gonna heal him up real fast. Enjoy that regeneration. Meanwhile, XXS again dropped down low. And without the Presti attack, he can't heal himself up. So he's gonna really force the back off. So he, he took the passive sustain route. And in the end, doesn't have that burst heal for himself to regen up. Oh, the Barrel Strike is started, so maybe a Lift here could be working. Eh, cute, too slow. Short legs. Short legs. Poka. Drops an Observer. Gets hit by a Illusion Dazzle. Ooh, nine, just really punishing with this Weaver pick so far. And the bottle as well. Gonna allow him to just get the regen he needs. To just constantly spam up this illuminate and uh, oh probably I mean not illuminate Tsukuchi and uh, still getting flashbacks from the last game to be honest that last game was so amazing when the vaults come out I do suggest you take a look at those if you're a fan of those good old well executed Chinese Dota matches then that's the match for you meanwhile burning getting shafted there in this off lane he's not top net worth for one oh, he's still top CS for once so not for once but he's still the top CS as usual and uh, Razor Gonna be a close second there. Kaka picks up the bounty rune there, gives him the finger as he walks out of there. A hop, skip, and a jump. Female Faith. Oh, could be spotted here. Oh, gonna get lifted there by the by the Rubik, but uh there's no decrep, no nether blast to follow, which is odd. U9 now gonna find himself a free ward. Thanks for the money, Pugna. It's 20 bucks. I'll take it. U9, oh, that's no duel. There's so no kill there. Three points in moment of courage. Ah. Hey, that's not gonna help you win any duels. It'll help you with the sustain though, because you will be constantly getting those huge lifesteal procs. But is it enough? Denied. XXS. It's a rough game for him. The duels will have to really come from the high damage that will be. Uh, those are to come from the high burst damage will be coming from the Rubik and Pugna maybe. I don't think it's gonna be a kill because of how Dazzle works. Grave is just gonna shut down any dual attempts. It's gonna be hard. XXS. Get hit once again. The heal bomb is there. He has to be really careful getting out. Getting touched by the priest. He has to be careful there. And uh, now getting back off. Oh, XXS missing on that heal bomb. Not gonna be able to do the damage. There are no duels so far to kill off the bugs. Burning is here for some revenge. Do they have faith? Do they have anyone to cut off faith yet? Yeah, looks like it's not gonna be the case. OD destroys Pugna. Uh, I think it was an arrow. I think he tried to gank. Wow. A little bit brave on that side. But uh, yeah, gotta get that kill there. Meanwhile, the Razor just able to sit here in this middle lane. Not crushing the OD as hard as he would like. And with the constant Marana help, it's just gonna be tough burning. Getting caught there. The overpower gets deployed. Is it gonna be enough? They're not gonna be able to do enough damage. And without Duol, they don't have any options to lock down targets here. 
And uh, this laning phase, I mean, if Newbie could beat IG when they won the lanes hard, how are they going to deal with Newbie winning the lanes? The haste rune now deployed there on OP. It's going to run away really fast. But Newbie are just controlling the map at this point. Kaka just enjoying this level 4 Mirana. Here's the Observer War keeping tabs. And there's an Abara could come and the arrow will follow as well. The epicenter is there. The arrows that could land perfectly. They will claim this partner and they'll probably claim the tower along with it. Taking some damage there. KP have to back off. And getting the epicenter there. Getting the kill. Very easy. Secure there as well. Now the duel is there. So they might be looking for the OD. They might try and chance it. There is no TP support for now. But a good duel there could be a good kill for them. They have to be very, very crisp on this. But unfortunately, the creep wave pushed in. Right as, the, right as when they're about to strike, so this OD, 9k is not going to have any of it. He's just going to back all the way home, so 9k. Mr. Sick is going to dodge that gank perfectly. going to have to creep wave pulled over, Kaka. Going to get himself aggroed. Has that arrow for that strike as well. He will get a big kill to himself. And the Marana now, 5 levels up. XXS going into the jungle there, trying to afford that blink tackle, but that rough lane he has had with the roof, uh, with the weaver and the dazzle just makes it so hard to play. How's KP looking? He's almost at the blink dagger. Yeah, like I said, these laning setups have just been so bad. Could IG be broken after that previous game one? Newbie just executed too well. Now winning all three lanes as well. If you look at the net worth, it's almost 10 minutes in. It's 3-0 and the Dyer net worth is way ahead. They don't have Alchemist to build him out of the net worth. Uh, well, the economic crisis, so to speak. Yeah, the Barashite comes in, just tagging on that. Oh, tagging on that Legion. The double star storm comes. They could be looking for a duel here. Do they go? Yes, the duel comes out. The plasma field is there, but the Legion is low. He gets a proc. He doesn't get the kill though. And another plasma field might be required, but now KP outplays the Legion. Gets the kill on him. It will slow down his blink dagger though. But then with the money he gets and with the EXP as well, he gets the kill. It's a trade one for one, but the blink dagger goes on to KP. And the duel fails. That is what they're most concerned about. Here comes the gank here. They catch out Q. Will he be able to get out of there in time? He does not. The heal bomb comes in. The dazzle strikes him down. And Faith. Get 2 0. Bubble car. Three points into the nether blast. Still having this push. Trying to work on this push, sanking with the Blink Dagger. XXS. The Plasma Fuel here. We'll clear out the wave. Is it gonna be enough? Will they be able to hold this tower? It looks like KP really wants to hold on to this. Yes, the Epicenter. So it could be a dangerous one to hold. And here comes the TP. The Epicenter is gonna start. It's gonna blink in, form the side, and get the Burn Strike on the Legion Commander. He takes a huge amount of damage there. And now, gonna be touched by the Priest again. XXS, not gonna be able to survive this one as the Pop comes out, and KP gets another free frag. Shouldn't have stayed too close to the tower there, nearly getting to the deny, but Cardi the Catapult will bail out the Radiant in some way. And uh, yeah, not spotting out the Blink Tagger there, a little bit sloppy on IG's side, I mean the Sanking did TP into that, so. Rough game once again, the Rubik, gonna look to steal up Sukuchi there, yummy for him. Sukuchi, an excellent spell for Rubik to get. But uh, this Razor, a little bit too far from home, and like I said, sloppy plays coming out. Not expecting the ganks here, and OP just gonna try and run away, but this is not happening yet. Faith once again claims another one with his heal bomb. Now doing very well in this game. 1 to 7, new B taking charge of this game. Is there gonna be a Roche? Nope, just scouting Roche there in case the Ursa was thinking about something like that. But Burning, not in any position to make demands here. Not going to be able to get that Aegis while his team is just so far behind in the game. Agent Commander, nowhere near that Blink Dagger. Gonna get scanned out for now. The OD knows that there's something coming, but Nike, he knows what's up. Denied Tower, that's gonna be slightly nice, but without any kind of movement ability, there will be no chance at killing this OD. The arrows come down, but SCCC, he knows. Plays too much Dota. Now the Moonlight Shadow goes out. They're looking for this OD and do they find it? They have a sentry wall, they plop it down, there it go, goes for the lift there. Night K might have just outstayed his welcome there, getting bashed up, but oh. Without any- Oh, banish! No mana! Oh, no. no mana. 
Uh, Q nearly outplayed the OD at his own game, but no mana. And they did not get the kill, the Legion was jungling, so yeah, no kill for you. Alright, so without that duel, they were not going to lock down the OD, and Nike gets out of there to safety, just waiting for that bailout. I think he was really expecting the duel, but in the end, not going to be there. Drums now for this Razor. And uh, they're stealing Aegis for themselves, the cheeky bastards! Do they have the damage though? They don't have a medallion, so they're doing this the old fashioned way. Faith doesn't have it, they have the Blightstone for that. Could be looking at Starstorm, they will fire an arrow into the, sh yeah, into the crowd here, and they actually will get the Aegis. The orbs do a significant amount of damage, and well... OD actually even managed to cheat out the Midas there with this early lead, and with this Aegis, it's just gonna be so huge. KP making space, but there's Ursa now gonna run in there to a fallen Roshan. The Banish comes out, immediately kiting this, this Roshan. The drums are gonna come out, looking for Faith, but it's not gonna be enough. Ursa just running around like a headless chicken, trying to get some targets, but really, uh, who are you gonna catch, man? OD's always gonna imprison you. Ursa is just such a bad pick here. He gets hit by a dagger as well, and now they're gonna claim him with the double star stone. But he takes a fall, another one! The hammer takes him out, and another one! On the razor as well, he's gonna be put on ice there. Perfect barrel strike chain, 1 to 11, IG in shambles. Uh. The Ursa Strat getting out Ursa here, out rushed, out everything. 1,300 gold this game, looking to be on the rocks. And those rocks look pretty nasty there down below. SCCC. Pushing his advantage here with that OD. Q trying his best. He has stolen Barrow Strike, but KP has got other plans for him. He strikes it down. Ooh, the Barrow Strike misses, but never mind. We are going to start off here with the Beaver. Going for a kill here, a banish comes out, okay, that's a very low OD, he has to be careful here, burning is there, gets the grave baby, grave, grave, heal, no, no grave, oh, doesn't have the grave there, it's on cooldown, the barrel strike gets channeled there, goes on to burning, he might have gotten a kill there, but Kaka is here to strike him down with a star storm, and they find it, they might go for the bailout here with the moonlight shadow now, but not even gonna take it, they don't need it, they don't need it, they have an Aegis on the Weaver. OP, drums up on him, Bubble Car deploys the ward, it's gonna do anything though, this partner has not pushed a tower, this tower was not taken by him, this partner pick just falling apart there, I mean newbie's like, yeah you wanna go pick your push strat, okay, we'll just do this run at you strategy, get the early blink dagger and KP in this team fight to victory, right now newbie are just so far ahead with this dazzle weaver off lane, KP safe lane, it's not looking good, IG. Boboka, I was trying to stack up some ancients. They steal up spells again. They get Suguchi there on the Rubik. That's nice to have. But the big wraparound comes here. Newbie, they're gonna stop the Moonlight Shadow maybe. Still holding it. Ursa going for the ancients and now they scout him out. They scout him out. Do they find him? Moonlight Shadow deployed. There is no vision here. No, there is vision actually. They scout it out. They might find him, but I think the Sankin's got other plans. He starts it again with the arrow. So the life trade try to keep him alive, but Bobokar is just killing himself at this point. But oh, is it gonna be enough? The double tap comes in, and now U9 gets the kill. Bobokar gonna run away, but the Rubik he has that Sukuchi thing. Gonna try and keep himself alive, but Nabaru Strike gonna get dispelled there by the Legion. Gonna keep things healthy for now. They only lose the Ursa, but oh no, Rubik caught off guard there. Double strike once again from the U9 Weaver. Gets the kill there with the Dragon Lance as well. On board, two minutes on that age is still not needing to use it. Two to fifteen, new B, new B with the complete shutout here in this game number two of the BO3, making it a lot less close. And that's what happens when you lose a terrible game one when you are ahead for so far in the match, and then you just lose it in five minutes at the 50 minute mark. Just really soul crushing at this point. The real spirit breakers, new B, double star stop once again, Bobo Car. Gonna keep himself alive. The other shadows, but he immediately gets hit by an arrow from Kaka. The style plays here. Yeah, even the grave keeping him alive. The tower will not be getting a kill today. No, sir. The time lapse out. He will actually lose, keep the damage loss. But XXS really getting zero duels here. Still going for armlet. I, I can't say I agree here to be honest. Really needs some way of jumping into those duels. But the Legion commander almost picked for her dispel at this point. Uh, IG look lost. New B. Just really. Well, on the bright side, guys, we have opportunities for the dream. 
IG needs a kill, newbie needs six. Could happen. Make it happen, boys. Newbie. Gonna go in now. They're gonna look for the Butterstrike. Right? Could find two of that, but KP gets tagged by the Plasma Field. But here comes the Bugs. The arrow could follow, and there you go. Following up the arrow. Oh, they're gonna hit the, the Rubik instead. He's kept alive now. OP getting a Blood Transfusion. They will find the Weaver. Maybe get 10 damage. Yeah, they do. The, o the Aegis gets popped. And now OP taking some damage. You have to be careful there. They don't want to play too greedy here. But oh, the Barrel Strike goes onto the Rubik. The Grand Megas is down. Kaka. Now, once again, gonna be running away, but the hammer from X at SCCC gonna drop there. The grave keeps him alive. Bunny gets hit by an arrow. It's a triple kill. Three to 20 right now. The Sand King falls, but is there enough? We get, we need two more kills, guys. The dream. The dream. At this point, when all help is lost here, yeah, we go for memes. Can U9 keep the meme alive? Prevent any more deaths? Dazzle. That's your job. Four points in the grave now. We keep things saucy. Newbie with a spicy. Game number two here. Dota Pit Season 5 looking strong here for New B as they are crashing through this upper bracket with IG in tow as well. It's looking rough. Legion Commander gonna port into that one. Try and go for the deny on the wave, but no, it's not gonna happen. Goes for the overwhelming odds. The arrow is stolen here. He gets hit by the stun. But the arrow here for Rubik. Can it make something happen? Can we see memes? XCCC. Holding on to it. And uh Weaver. Now pick up a desolator as well. The des the germinate attack or the double strike here is gonna really hurt on some heroes now. I think uh Pagna Rubik being among those heroes gonna make it so hard for them to survive the team fights. And here comes the Moonlight Shadow. We're ready to make it happen. Legion Commander, you are first on the list, lady! And yeah, there you go. Hammer, hammer, star storm. Easy kill, mega kill for him. And now we're still looking for more targets here. Burning is next on the list there. Burning, you are on the menu. I wouldn't run towards that area. Here comes U9 with a double damage. He pops the enrage, but Sand King is there with the Yule Scepter. Set things up right into the arrow on the dome and me. Alright, guys. You know, when, when games are storm, you gotta you gotta get you gotta get with the flow. Gotta find something to be positive about. This is a rough game. Support Marana getting the... Okay, they call it! They just wanted it! They just wanted it! Chinese! The meme lords! They are such meme lords! They're like, alright, just let it happen, guys, and yeah, let the fans be happy. And, uh, well, newbie, there will be no 315 for this game. They will just clear it out with a solid victory and with a 322 for the final scoreline as well let's go there you know appreciate the moment look at that picture perfect picture perfect well there was nothing much to really talk about there newbie just had too many hard counters to the us a warrior the laning just didn't work out the legion commander not what they expected and uh yeah it takes a different kind of finesse to play this hero and it just wasn't met in this game, and Newbie just walked right over them. This scoreline looking pretty sick for Mr. 9K over here. And uh, Newbie will proceed further into the finals, I think. They are in the finals now, and uh, yeah, they should be looking good. But meanwhile, uh, we are going to go to the lower bracket. Invictus Gaming, I believe, will be playing the next set, I think, at a later time today. They will be playing against... Oh, what, what are their names? I, I, I didn't check the brackets, but yeah, it's going to be right here on this page. Let me see. Alright, I I'll, I think you'll find out in a bit. I will announce it later on, but for now, we're going to wrap this match up. Newbie versus Invictus Gaming. Not going so well for IG. They had some glimmer of hope in Game 1, but Game 2 was a complete shutout. And with that, they dropped to the lower bracket where they have to fight against either Ehome or Vici, depending on who won yesterday. And uh, we'll be right back for that one. There's another BO3 coming your way. I'm Lysana, going to be signing out. We'll be right back here with the next series in just a bit. Stay tuned for more. You're watching Dota Pit Season 5. Much love and kappa.